I'm Killer Bob Films, and you're watching the Killer Bob Films show. Yes, Killer Bob Films. Ah, uh, you could call him by his full name, the Killer Bob Films show, but I just call this YouTuber Killer Bots, or real name being Chris Christian. I don't know, just just Killer Bob Films. Let's just go with that, okay? Now, Killerbot Films is a channel that we did with you last year, and as you know, things have updated, things have changed. He was in a before I was friends, which is kind of like a before I was famous thing. Yeah, I know, I forgot to mention on the XCV one. But, again, so much has changed with both of these YouTubers that it will be hard to actually put everything in there. So, yeah. You guys requested it, well, one person requested it, and here it is, the channel with you on... I'm Killer Bob Films, and you're watching the Killer Bob Films Show. Hello everyone, so today as you just seen we're doing a channel with you on Killerbot Films. Now funny enough, his channel started on Christmas Day or well 25th of December 2014. Now I also know that he has a second channel but that will be the only time I'm going to talk about it because this is about reviewing main things. So how many subs does he have? Well, he's a small YouTuber with 2,314 subs, as of video views in total. Okay, 98,490, and his age, I'm, uh, I'm just going to have a bit of a guess, maybe 14 or 15, because the previous YouTubers I reviewed, apart from that one who does Western Evil content, they, I know the ages because they've said it, but for this one, I, I'm not too sure. His next goal on the list to hit is 3,000 3, subscribers. So if you could be nice, maybe this Christmas, go and subscribe to him down below and his channel will be up on your screen at the end of this video. So what type of content does he make? I love to do on his channel do movies and talk about films. Since if you're friends with me in real life or on the internet, you know that I love to talk about films. I don't want to grow my channel by sucking McJuggernaut's dick like some people I know. And I just want to grow by doing the things that I love. So he makes content from vlogs, reviews, skits, parodies, and he also has a series called The Booth. Unlike me when I'm now, I've I've done like a lot of series that I still do. Um, it looks like he's only got the one, and I feel like if you do one thing, you'll become better at that. So in a way, he's maybe doing better than me. Just my opinion. Um, he's also done um, two short films in the past called The Golfer One and also Two. I will also say that one of my favourite videos on this channel is the Disneyland uh, vlog with Yag CV. Here's a little clip from that. Oh my god. <laughs> How much? How much is it? It's 21. 21? Yeah. God, I thought prices in Canada was bad. <laughs> I don't even know where this is. Exactly. So it should be fun. With all these little kids and still got this. The Mad Men's act. Yeah. So this is Red Steve taking over. Yeah, because apparently you're the expert vlogger here. Where's the focus area? Yeah, that's focus. So I'm manual focus. So yeah, we're and speaking of the TV. As of the other, of most of the other YouTubers I've talked about, Yag TV and Kinobot Films have made countless videos together, including collabs from different other channels, and they've all been.
quite fantastic they have and I've well loved them all and think that they should just keep up the fantastic work. So in conclusion what do I think of this channel? I think it's very good but in a way it will be more better if it gets to 3,000 subscribers. So what are, what is the score for Killerbot Films? Killerbot Films gets a 9 out of 10. Now, Killerbot Films for subscribers has 2,317. As of views, it's 119k at the time of this recording. He joined on Christmas Day of 2014. Yes, you heard me right. And then his most popular video today is Stalking the Jungle Nuggets at VidCon with 10,000 views. That's quite a lot, I will say. So, what has Killer Films been up to since we last did that channel review on him last year? Well, he's done a lot of videos with Yeg TV, he has definitely for sure. One of them being my favourite being this one. And also, I'm not too sure it'll be out by now, but I've done a little bit of, of a different version of that. Um, I have made it so, like, extended it because there's so many good parts where you could edit it and make it into its own section in that video. And I think the biggest thing that I would see for Killerbot Films is that he was on a Yag TV video that was called Meeting Haters in Real Life, but the part that is just amazing is that you were the Michael McQuaddon guy and he did like a before you were friends. Now, I don't know if the art style was done by the people who do the before, my, before I was famous videos or was it just Yags TV who did that for that one and just told Michael McQuaddon just to stand in front of a green screen and say these words and then send a clip off to me but yeah that that part specifically was a huge surprise it was so yeah oh and he also appeared in this video yeah a fight that basically won't happen mm. friends and today we're talking about Yanks TV and Killerbot Films. So what do I give this channel out of? Well I'm going to be honest here that Killerbot Films, I don't know how to put these in words, but let's say his humour is amazing. It's kind of like a um, this is how I would pronounce it. A, I don't give a fuck humour, but I also do give a fuck humour. That type of humour. That's why those VidCon vlogs and, I don't know, it was just so good it is. It, ma it makes you laugh, it does. But then on the downside, you've got videos like these where you actually have no idea if he's being serious or not. So, not remembering what score I gave Killerbot Films last year, and please know my heart is trying to come out of me because it's getting so nervous about this. I'm giving this channel a 9 out of 10. So, yeah. Also before we move on to another channel, please know I have given channels lower to the amounts between 6 and 7 out of 10. It's really pending if 1, have you had any drama with anyone else? 2, how are your videos? Do you click bait in the wrong ways? Um, 2, do you do stupid options or things in life? Um, and it really goes down to stuff like that. Basically, making sure you're being good and you're not disrupting anyone else. So, like, for instance, maybe for a channel like uh, if I was ever going to review Battlefront updates, I would give it a 6 out of 10 for the more drama that they have on the Battlefront side instead of uh, news updates. But then also, they become a bit of a pussy when it comes to actually talking about it. Please know, EA, they own, and DICE, they own Star Wars Battlefront 2 and the footage that you use. 
it'd be like if I made a game, or if like Cameron made a game, and you use the footage to do whatever you want with it, but then Cameron can, he, he can still own that, he can. So, like, logical sense, dummies.